Hey, Shalom. This is your brother Yonathan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. The whole premise of our walk is at some point in time, we're going to be willing to put it all on the line for the sake of our Lord, to push His way, to forward His way in the earth. You see? Now, we're going to have to reciprocate that love that Yahweh Shah showed us. Let's see what I'm talking about. Let's go to John 15 really quick. All right, John 15 and 13. All right, written in red. It says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if you do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. We've been given prophecy. We know exactly how this thing is going to play out. But I have called you friends, for all things I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. We have that sure word of prophecy. Now that love he showed us, he, he followed through with it. He laid down his life, you know, that we just had the class this past Saturday, yesterday, about, you know, the blood of Yahweh Shah being the access Okay? He shed that blood so we can have access. He died for us. Even two thirds of our people, that was for them too. You know? They've been they're gonna get they still enjoy the kingdom of heaven after they get their ass whooped here on this side. They're still gonna get to enjoy it, man, because of that sacrifice. We're gonna have to reciprocate it at some point. And not all of us are gonna be martyrs and have to perish, alright? Most of us are gonna live. A lot of us are gonna live. Because that prophecy has to be fulfilled where, where, where thine eyes shall see that their destruction. Alright? But, you know, the, everybody, all of the elect, are going to exhibit the willingness to put it all on the line. That's why the scriptures say they love not their own lives unto the death. Because they understand that death isn't final. When you go to Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, and you understand how life and death works, you realize... In, no, I ain't, we're not going to sit here and act like we're not afraid. Look, it, it might be there, but you understand it in fullness. You understand that death isn't final and it's not losing. Just because a man of the Lord may perish here on this side, it's not going to be like, oh, I guess he didn't make it. He he, he, he didn't receive something. No, the, the scriptures tell you in 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17, let me actually go get it, that the dead in your house, 4 and 16, that the dead in your house shot or will, will be raised up first. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, For the Lord himself should descend from heaven with a shout, all right, you can you can read about that. Second um, Ezra thirteen. Um, go to Joel three. Talks about him intervening in the midst of World War three, and completely eviscerating all of its armies. That's the power that's on our side. We have nothing to be worried about. All right, it says for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in the Amashiach, the anointed, shall rise first. You know. And it talks about uh, in Revelation 14 and 13, how those who die in Yahweh Shai, their works do follow them. Okay, and Elder Yashuamba always makes this point, this point uh, Stephen, when he was stoned, for him to be able to see that vision and, you know, all of that, see what he saw and conduct himself the way he did, he couldn't have felt it. All right, and the Lord, I'm pretty sure a lot of those martyrs will have the same remedy, but they won't even feel it. It'll just be motivation and, and, and an example to the rest of the believers on how to follow through, how to die manfully. Um, let's go to, uh, I want to read Revelation 2 and 10. All right, let's read that really quick. It's Revelation 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil, and we know who the devil is, who plays the hand of the devil. When you go to, uh, well, let's get it. Let's go, uh. 2 Thessalonians, all right, 3 and 4, no, 3 and, uh, no, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8, it says, And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, all right, that concentrated fire, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him Whose coming is after the working of Satan. There's a nation. There's, there's a people that they're coming. The way they move, it comes in with left hand energy. It's contrary to the, 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 
to the Lord. And it's against the children of Israel. It's against his chosen people. All right. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Man, part of that, you know, those lying wonders, are, you know, that power is going to be his technology that he's pushing. All right. So uh, now let's go back to second, uh, Revelation 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And you shall have tribulation ten days, a complete amount of time. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? So again, death isn't final. That's something that we understand. Now I also want to, um, let me get this preset really quick. Alright. Revelation uh, 12 and 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. The wicked are going to be cast down. They'll get some of us, but they're going to they lose in the end. We have this sure word of prophecy. So we know how this thing plays out. Which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb that's that access all right, and by the word of their testimony, no guile in their mouth. We have the test, the, the no deceit in the mouths of the elect. You look up no guile, right? No deceit, and by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. All right, now let's go to Revelation 20 and 4. All right, it says, And I saw thrones. And they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. So we, they are going to be, we know they're going to be martyrs. And for the word, and that's a part of the cost that you count when you step into this walk, man. Because we're in war. Now the weapons of our warfare are spiritual and not carnal to the pulling down of strongholds. But it's war nonetheless, right? So they're going to be, they're going to be casualties, all right? And for the word of God, which had not worshipped the beast... Neither his image, so they didn't subscribe to the philosophy or the way that this devil pushed on the masses. That's the image. A lot of camps, they try to explain the mark, but they're really just explaining the image. Two different things. All right, continuing on. Neither his image, neither had received his mark, and it's going to be the same as Karagma, that incision in the flesh, which is a badge or a, a digital awl or all, right? In ancient times, if someone owned a slave, they would brand them. Or they would pierce them through the ears, showing that they had ownership over this individual. Now, in this time, for you to take or receive that mark, you're, 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 you're giving ownership to this man. You're making him your God, him your Lord, instead of the Most High. So, you know, it, it is the mark, and it's becoming more and more clear every day what that mark is. If you can't see it, man, it's because the Lord didn't want you to see it. All right, Revelation 20 and 4, again from the top. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, and neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with the Mashiach a thousand years. Reigned. Rulership, dominion. And I always make that statement. We're auditioning for kingship because we are. All right? We've been called. Lord willing, we're chosen. Okay? I got one more precept. I mentioned it earlier in the lesson, but I, I got to read it. All right, this is on um, Revelation 14, 13. And I said, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right. Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yeah, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So death isn't final. It's not losing. All right. So we understand how life and death works. And if you if you need understanding, if you're new, and you need understanding on reincarnation, type in Great Millstone Reincarnation or GMS Reincarnation. Um, brothers have done lessons on it. It's, it should be hundreds of videos you can find. You might have to surf a little bit because YouTube shadow bans us, but plenty of lessons up. And if you can't find it, just let me know. I'll make a lesson. Um, but, yeah. 
victory is already ours. We just have to follow the course, stay the course. All right. So pray that the Lord puts that as that faith unto you to move in that way in a time to come. Because the, the, the foundation for Jacob's trouble, for the devil to make his move, the foundation has been laid. He's already, you know, cut the farming in half here in the countries and uh, different lands. They already bought up all the farmland. They already... They, they have complete manipulation on the food, okay? They, they have control to that extent, so. And a lot of people, man, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna bend the knee just to eat. But the scriptures already told us that for those who have been walking uprightly towards the Lord, he says, my servant shall eat, and ye shall be hungry. So we're good, man, you just gotta believe it. You gotta believe it. It's faith at the end of the day. It's the only way you can truly please the Lord. The scriptures tell you that too, all right? Lord, he poses the question, shall, when he returns, shall he find faith upon the earth? So, you know, pray for more faith. So, with that being said, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises once more to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kodash. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and rule well. I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth and sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Shalom.